In the 1970s, the West German company Walther began developing a compact and highly accurate sniper rifle for law enforcement use. It was intended to be used by police and other special forces for precise sniper missions. Production of the new rifle, known as the Walther Western Australia 2000, began in 1982. The direct reason for developing this sniper rifle was reportedly the 1972 Munich massacre, which had a significant international impact at the time. The unprofessional actions taken during the hostage rescue operation by the so-called snipers sent by the West German police, who had not received professional training and were equipped with G3 rifles without optical devices, resulted in unexpected outcomes. Learning from this tragic lesson, the Walther Western Australia 2000 sniper rifle took a slightly extreme path. It pursued high accuracy regardless of cost, resulting in a high price tag. At the time, the rifle cost around $10,000 without optics, and a complete set could cost up to $40,000, which is still expensive even by today's standards. The Walther Western Australia 2000 features a bullpup design, with a total length of approximately 905 mm, making it compact and suitable for operations in narrow environments. However, its competition-grade barrel length reaches 650 mm, ensuring firearm accuracy and power. It uses a gas-operated rotating bolt system and is semi-automatic, with a 6-round magazine capacity. The company also designed a 10-round magazine, but it was not widely used. For this high-precision sniper rifle, firepower continuity is not a priority. The primary focus is on high accuracy and stable lethality within effective range. Three different caliber versions were produced, with the most common one firing .300 Winchester Magnum ammunition. This ammunition, which was introduced in 1963, is a high-powered standard rifle ammunition with over 200 different bullet options. It is mainly used for hunting large animals such as elk, showcasing its tremendous power. The other two versions fire 7.5 by 55 mm Swiss caliber ammunition and 7.62 by 51 mm NATO standard ammunition. Distinguishing between different caliber versions through simple visual observation is not easy. People may notice that the muzzle devices shown in different photos are different. In fact, this is due to the evolution of the firearm's design. The first generation used a short cylindrical muzzle device, while the second generation made slight optimizations, changing the muzzle device to a cage-style one, among other improvements such as the gas system and reduced recoil. The handguard and grip of the sniper rifle are made of wood. The bipod is mounted above the barrel, and when deployed, it is not fixed to the firearm. This allows the shooter to adjust the rifle's position. The rubber pad on the buttstock can be extended by 2.5 cm and can also be adjusted in height, with a range of 3 cm. The trigger pull can be adjusted between 1.2 to 1.4 kg. As a high-precision sniper rifle, the Walther Western Australia 2000 does not rely on mechanical sights. It uses a high-precision optical sight produced by Schmidt and Bender. However, other types of sights can also be mounted on the rifle. When firing .300 ammunition, the effective range of the rifle is 700 meters, and its accuracy is quite impressive. It can achieve 0.5 MOA at a distance of 100 meters, making it very useful for special operations such as hostage rescues. However, the Walther Western Australia 2000 is extremely expensive and highly specialized. It is rarely used in everyday situations. Its intricate structure also makes it less durable. During its few years of production, only 176 rifles were made, with the majority staying in several European countries and a small number exported to the United States. This rifle is highly sought after by Western collectors and can fetch prices close to $100,000 for secondhand sales, 